In much of the northern half of the United States, winter brings an end to the fishing season. The snow and cold leaves many anglers to remember last year's success and to anticipate the coming fishing opener. Oh, bobbers would work out here. But for some, like North American fisherman Steve Panaz, more than a foot of ice covering a lake gives him another opportunity to catch fish. As a competitor, Steve has fished in two World Ice Fishing Championships, and he enjoys yeah. battling the elements and extra challenges that the sport brings. Recently, Steve and longtime friend Rick Runquist headed out to Walker Bay on Leech Lake fishing deep water humps for walleyes. <laughs> You know, the thing about these humps is they come up from about 100 feet of water out in these deep areas, and they come up into 40, 45, 50 feet. They just miss the fish. And these fish are up on these things to feed. And they're not real small areas. What's nice is they concentrate all these fish. These big schools of walleyes will come in here following the bait fish. And uh, generally, when you find one fish, you find pretty good fishing. Oh, got one, another one here, Steve. Little one. <coughs> Might well, be an eater. Nice. They're really going tonight, aren't they? Oh, you know, that last hour, that's a small fish just again. Just got a little hook sideways there. You know that last hour before dark, just for some reason, it really turns these fish on. One of the keys when you're fishing cold weather like this is to make sure your drag is really, really loose because a lot of times your guides will freeze up. You can see I've got ice forming on, on these areas in here. And the line itself will freeze onto your spool, so you want to make sure it can give a lake like leech. You just never know when that next fish might be a 15, 20 pound pike or, oh, that was a good walleye. Or even a real quality walleye. Oh, there's one, Steve. I got one too, Rick. Thunking it pretty good. Is that a better one? No, nah, it's another small one. Yeah, that's a small one here too. I'm just gonna bring it up. Real small. little one. <laughs> you can feel that fish. <laughs> yeah, mine's it about the same size, hard. look at this. <laughs> Little guy. Well, it swam away healthy. Good. You know, a lot of ice fishermen like to fish with tip-ups. And what that is is a mechanism where you get a bite, the flag flies up. But what I found for walleye fishing is an aggressive approach. We've cut a couple dozen holes here and jigging, and you just move from hole to hole. You actually call the fish in using, you know, baits like the raffle, the jig, uh, jigging spoon, or, or the... Um, uh, other like lead head jigs and that sort of thing. You call the fish in, so by jigging, it's a more active approach, which helps you keep you warm. Plus, it's a real effective way. A lot of times, if you have one jig rod and, and you're fishing with some other guys and they have three or four lines down with tip ups, the jig rod's gonna outfish the other lines, sometimes three, four, or five to one. So, jigging is a real effective way to catch winter walleyes. You know, the thing about a winter walleye is when he comes up to the bait, and I've watched it through the hole a number of times, is they're not a real aggressive fish. I mean, they're here to eat, but when a walleye comes up to grab that bait, they come up to it and they, they suck in actually the water around it. Hey, that's not a bad fish, Rick. But they'll come up to that jig and they'll come up to it, and instead of grabbing the bait, they come up to it and they actually suck in the water around it. So by using light line and a presentation where you're jigging and then you stop, it allows the fish to get that bait in their mouth. Now, a couple times I've had walleyes actually have the bait down their throat. This one I actually got in a beak with a couple hooks here, but um, you want a presentation when you're jigging where you can actually stop and let those fish um, eat, eat the bait. You know, of all the guys I fished with in the winter, Rick has got one of the deadliest walleye strokes, probably because he's been on the water most, more now than most people do in a lifetime, but he's got this stroke down that these fish here really like. Uh, we use a lot of jigging spoons out here, and we use uh, some lead heads, but mostly we use the jigging spoons. And I like to jiggle it, just barely move the end of your rod enough to make the, the hook swing back and forth. I like to use pieces of minnows, heads and tails, and then give it a pump once in a while and let it settle back down, and then start jiggling it again, and then just let it set quiet again. Every now and then let it drop right on the bottom the fish, as you know, when you first started here tonight, that when your bait would hit the bottom, you went to pick it up to check to see what the depth was, and there was a fish on it. It grabbed it as soon as it hit the bottom. Well, that's a better fish. Big ball in there. It's funny, I was dropping this, this bait down the bottom. It's, it's 
42 feet here. And uh, I thought I hit bottom and all of a sudden the line starts to move away. So I messed it up and this fish is already on there. You can see the eyes on this fish are starting to pop out. That's from the pressure of the deep water when you got this thick of ice on here. The ice is about this thick over right here. The pressure is pretty great to bring these fish out of the deeper water. You can see he's already, he's already freezing up. Two degrees this morning.